video. Sorry, I ran out of memory on my on my uh, video. But with the leash training, you're looking for two two uh, verbal commands, and you want to them to rely on your verbal control rather than physical control with the leash, trying to push and pull them and things. Um, so the two commands that I've taught him are let's go when I want him to go and easy when he pulls. And I stop and I ask him to put some slack in the leash and I give him a couple pops if I need to to get his attention. And there's there's two kinds of walks that I do with the puppies. One of them uh, is with a short four or five foot leash like this and that's when I need to get from point A to point B. And what I expect from them when I'm doing a short leash walk is for them to maintain a slack in the leash, kind of a J in the leash, and pay attention to what I'm doing and go where I'm going and do what I'm doing. Um, it's not for them to sniff around and check things out and stop and look. Um, I recommend that you do those walks daily. But uh, if you're going to do that kind of a walk, then go ahead and take them where you can take them safely off leash or use a long leash, like a 15 or 20 foot leash. Come! while you're putting on their leash and taking it off. It's just good manners so you're not chasing them around. Let's go. Let's go. Good. And I haven't specified which side I want them on, left or right. I just want them to maintain the slack in the leash and turn when I turn and go where I'm going and um, pay attention to me. Let's go. Let's go. You want to go lay down on your bed in the shade, huh? Good boy. And then when I stop, I want him to automatically sit, which he just did. That was really good. Yes, good boy. Um, so that's the leash training portion of it. The last portion of it is um, the house training, which he's done really well. And I go through that in detail in the training manual. Um, he's expected to go and ring a bell hung on the door, and I've got a bell included in his packet with his nose to communicate to you that he needs to go outside and go potty. So the important part with the house training is um, make sure you establish a routine with him. The more predictable it is, um, the more easily he'll transition into that. So um, if he touches the bell, hook a leash on, take him out to the same place in your yard every single time, and that can be his toilet area, and let him saturate that, s that spot with his smell. Leave his illuminations there for a couple of days. Um, and after you've done that several times a day for a couple of days, um, then he'll have established a, a potty routine and that'll be really easy for him but he's done really well in the house he hasn't had an accident in a couple of months um, and I think he's gonna do great I think you're gonna love Charles he's a great puppy got a great personality and he's done really well thanks